Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of Skyblock on the AZMC server. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode we built ourselves that medieval bakery right down there. And, and you know what, I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. I'm, I'm starting to like this build style, I don't think it's going too too badly. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, I hope you're liking it too. Anyway, in well, there's a couple things I actually want to show you. First of all, I want to say this thing over here, this thing right here, it's actually working. It's actually working. I haven't gotten any uh, Enderman Ender Pearls out of it, <laughs> which was the whole point of it. Uh, an attempt at Ender Pearls. That was the whole point. But uh, I'm getting a lot of other mobs coming out of it now. Things are starting to come out of it now, so that ain't so bad. It's a little disappointing because I want the ender pearls. I'm still very short. I think I still need four or five more uh, ender pearls in order to finish that achievement. Let's take a look at those achievements right now. Slash C. Um, I've still got to do pearl collector, explorer, and expert builder. And you know what? I'm not even close to expert builder. Let's see. Slash is land le level. Let me see. 163, and I have to get to 250. I still have to raise my thing by a hundred. It's going to take me a very long time, but I have some really big plans, actually. I have some really big plans, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll eventually get there. First of all, look at all around here. Look at all the way around here. I put in this perimeter. This perimeter, let me tell you why I did it. Yes, it looks ugly, and yes, it looks stupid. <laughs> let me just say that straight out. I know, ugly and stupid, but when I was building my house over there and I hit the, the hard edge, it, it kind of wrecked my plans. It was right on the edge over there. It kind of wrecked my plans. I had this idea of where I was going to build things and how I was going to build things, and suddenly I butted up against this hard edge and I couldn't do it anymore. And I started worrying, like, you know, what if I'm building something and it's really big and I get halfway through and, and, and you know, I have half a house built or whatever and I can't build any further. And that, that would really upset me because I'd have to, like, lose all those resources probably. I'd have to try and chop it up and it would never work. It would be a disaster. So I decided to wrap this thing all the way around my entire island. Uh, so I know the exact hard perimeter of it. So now I kind of know where all my space is. I still have a lot of space back there and a lot of space on the sides, but I have absolutely no space kind of in this area here, like none over there at all, and a decent amount in kind of here. But this is my ugly zone anyway. This is my ugly zone. So I got to be really careful with how I'm building from now on. I did kind of want to put a building in here, and that should be plenty of room for it, but I don't know what I'm going to do back here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll have to give it some very careful thought. So that is kind of cool. It looks like most of my building will be over here and over there. And that's kind of cool. That'll get me to my 250, I hope. I got some big plans. I kind of want to I kind of want to put a marketplace in here, and that marketplace is going to be my marketplace slash uh, iron farm. Uh, and I think I'm going to put a, a sheep a sheep shearing area where I have like my dyes and all my sheep stuff right in here. I think that's what we're going to do today, actually, but I'm not really exactly sure yet. The first thing we're going to do, though, the very, very first thing we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the Slash the Explorer. Slash the Explorer. So what you require is one map, one compass, one clock, 64 netherrack, 16 soul sand, and one ghast here. Now, all of these things are pretty painful, and I actually made it even more painful. And let me tell you what happened. First of all, the gas tier, you know, that's going to take you forever. Everyone knows that. Going to fight gas, and every once in a while you get lucky and a gas drops a tier, but it's kind of rare. Soul Sand, Netherrack, easy to find. Now, the clock, the compass, and the map. When you are low on iron and you low on gold, you do not want to give that stuff up at all. I, I actually had to. I actually built two compasses, obviously, because you need a compass for a map. Uh, and that knocked my iron levels. I had 11, I had to use 8. And I have three iron left. That's all I've got. And unless I'm doing more challenges, I can redo some of the challenges and get myself some more iron. But unless I'm redoing those challenges, then that's it for the iron. Unless I build an iron farm, which I'm going to be doing very soon. So I'm not too, too worried about that one. Now the gold. I forget exactly how much gold I had. I think I had 17. It required four, which knocked me down to 13 gold. Not enough for two golden apples. So that means I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time in the nether killing stupid pigmen in order to build two golden apples to build myself two two villagers and those two villagers then are going to then go into a marketplace and that's the big plan but for now what we're going to do is oh there's one thing i have to tell you though let's open this up so here is the map i made it was map number 164 i've got myself my clock i got myself a gas tier i've got myself soul sand i got myself another rack and i've got this extra compass 
Now, you'll notice I have two maps. This one down here is map zero. This is some dude's place. <laughs> that's some dude's place. That ain't my house. That ain't my place. That's some other dude's place. And you know what makes me really sad is you have to have map you have to have map zero whoops in order to fulfill this challenge. I have to have map zero. I have this stupid map which I built up here actually. And it's not even my base. Um, it's like it's like this guy's base over here. This guy's crappy island over there where he didn't do anything yet. That's what I got on my map. <laughs> and I have to keep this crappy map forever. Anyway, guys, in order to get map zero, what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, back to spawn. And there is a sign on the wall that says this is the map you need to purchase. It's 10 in-game dollars. This is the map you need to purchase in order to fulfill the explorer challenge. So fail on my part for not reading the signs. I have this extra crappy map that I'm just going to put somewhere. But for now, guys, what we are going to do is slash C C Explorer. Boom. And I got it. So 256 rails, 32 power rails, one ocelot spawn egg, and one diamond plus 100 reward and $100. I am filthy, filthy rich. Oh, I don't know why I keep hitting escape instead of E. So I've got all these things here. There's my power rails. There's my extra ocelot egg. I actually killed off my first ocelot, which kind of sucks because I could then be spawning these dudes together and, and, and producing ocelots, but now I can't do it. I've only got one pet cat, and I'm actually allergic to cats anyway. I don't even want that stupid cat. What I did want are these rails. Now, they're going to come in really, really handy once we actually get ourselves a couple of villagers because the villagers are going to be shipped from this area down here where I'm actually going to be... Uh, finding the the zombie the infected uh, or the zombie villagers and i'm going to ship them to wherever i'm actually going to put the market but that is in a little while from now that's not right now i'm not going to worry about it too too much at this time for now guys i think what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a little building right over here to help build up our area again it only gives me like five or ten extra points with what i'm using because i'm not actually using any of the nether material that actually helps you a lot. If you guys are on here and you're playing, use nether material in your builds and you'll actually go up faster as far as your island levels are concerned. But for now, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves right in here. We're going to build ourselves a die slash sheep area. All right. So I'm going to go collect some resources and I'll be back soon. Okay, guys. Uh, this is where I think the sheep herder, I guess he's actually going to be in charge of all these animals. This is where the farming guy lives right here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, let me just, I don't even know if this is going to work. I think I don't have anywhere near enough material, so I'm going to just start this off, and then we are going to go back and again collect a bunch of materials. One, two, three, that's not high enough. Two, three, four, I think, to there, and, uh, ah, little baby zombie. Okay, this thing here, let me, how much of this do I have? Do I have a lot? I got a lot, so we're all set. We're all set for now. This is going to go one, two, three, four, just like that. This side, same thing. One, two, three, four, just like that. He's going to live in this area here. This is going to be his house. I think I think we're going to stretch it out. I think it, we're going to stretch it out so that it's, it's too long. In fact, you know what I think we're going to do? I think we're actually even going to... I think we're even going to do this. Do I have this stuff? I have some of this. I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to go one, two, three... And we're just going to fill, well, one, two, three. I think we're going to do it like this. And then this is going to be fencing along here. And I think what we're going to do, oh, I put too many down. I think my mouse is going. That's going to kind of suck. This area here is going to be uh, where he does, and we're going to fill this whole thing in, actually, with awesome stuff like this. And I might actually remove this and put in a decorative block later, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, let's go up here and put one more of these on. So I think what we're going to do is underneath this area, right down here, I think right down here we're going to have an area where he does his work, where he shears his sheep, milks his cows, whatever. That's going to be right here. His house is going to be on top. His house is going to be one layer up. So you know what we're going to do right now? We're going we're gonna to toss this thing here and there too. Great stupid double-clicking mouse. Oh my god, it's making me mad. I can't believe it. I just bought this mouse. And this guy here is going to have a wooden structure just like this as well. Is this too high? Do I want it to be four high? Is that too high? No, that should be fine. One, two, three. That's going to give us three things. 
The floor is going to go right underneath here. This is where the floor is going to go. So all on the bottom here, don't have very much of this, is actually going to be floor. And you know what we're going to use? We're going to use half slabs just because I got a lot of them and I don't want to not use them. So these are going to be half slabs all along here. Do, 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 do. So this is going to be the first floor of his house. Uh, I think he's going to have two floors because I, I had this idea. It's going to be a kind of once again an asymmetrical roof. I've been doing a lot of these asymmetrical roofs. I kind of like them. Uh, so I think we're going to do another one right here. Bam! Just like that. So that's going to be the floor of his house, and underneath here is going to be a work area. We're going to have this whole thing fenced in, uh, and I kind of I kind of lined it up with. Uh, I kind of lined it up with what the original sheep farm is. Maybe I made it one too big. Maybe I'll have to make it a little smaller. Um, so the original sheep farm is going to be moved into this area here, I think. I'm just going to move it over a bit so we can have a path along here, and maybe even some trees in here, because I'm missing trees now. And his house is going to be up there somewhere. Uh, do I have any stairs or anything? I do have some stairs. So let's see. I think his house... Okay, this whole area here is going to be filled in, or it might not even be here, but for now we're going to leave it. Uh, let's say his door is going to be right there. Right there. So let me just see for now. Let me put up some of this stuff for now. Uh, so I can reach. Two, three. I think his door, I want his door, I think, to go right here. Right there. So, nine. Yeah, just like that. So stare down, stare down. Six, choppity, 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 chop. I want this to kind of wrap around. Is this going to be long enough to wrap around? Let me see. Stare down. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, this is ground level. So this actually takes him to ground level. So maybe I don't want a stairway right there. Maybe I want to move this into the middle of the house. Because I kind of want it to wrap around. I kind of want it to do this. I kind of want it to be... I kind of want it to be here, I think. This is where I want the first step to be. And then, this is going to come out one, two, just like this. Can't even get up here now. It's going to be too wide, and this is going to be too wide. So wherever this goes up is where his door is. Or maybe I'll even have like a little platform up there. That's cool. So this is where his stairs are going to go. Like this. Stair here. Not there. Stair there. Stair there. Stair there. And you know, maybe we'll make a little platform right here. Too wide. So let's get rid of these things here for now. So this is the kind of layout I want, and I don't even have all the stuff here to show you exactly what I want, which is cool, right? Always come prepared. It just takes so long to get everything prepared. <laughs> it takes so long. There's never all the stuff you need when you're playing Skyblock. There's always a bunch of it missing. Okay, so that's going to be like that. This is going to be a double row of stairs, and that is going to be the ground level right there. So it's going to come up here, and you know what? I still want the door right there, so we're going to go boom, boom. Boom, just like this, and then I'm going to wrap this whole thing in cobble. And that's going to make for a nice stairway, if I actually have enough cobble, let's see. And enough stairs. This one, this one, this one, perfect, and this one right here. Just like that. How much cobble do I have? Oh, I got lots of cobble, lots of cobble. Not lots, I'm going to have to go cut it in a minute, but whatever. All right, this is going to go like this. In fact, I'm going to do this, because I want cobble steps there? No. Actually, I want I don't want cobble there. I'm going to want wood here to make kind of like a continuous pathway. Do I have enough wood? Yeah. Let's do this, because I don't need that much more. I guess I'll need a bunch for the, the things. I'm going to want cobble here, though. So cobble here, and then cobble all the way along just like this to wrap it, and we're going to make it nice and safe for this guy. He's important. He's supplying us with our wool. Boom, boom, boom. Our, he's supplying us with our wool and our leather and all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to go right around like this. Just like, not like that. Just like this. If this mouse clicking thing keeps up, I'm going to have to dump this mouse, which kind of sucks. All right, and we're going to wrap this entire thing in these, which I don't have here. Bam. Uh, let's make a little box here. Let's make ourselves a box. I'm going to put this down below anyway, so... Bam, and let's make uh, 12 should be plenty, I think. Maybe not. I'm often very terrible at estimation. For example, now. Need a bunch more. Need at least six more. Okay, 
So this is kind of how I want it to look. You know what? I'm just going to make just going to make all of them. I think we'll cut up some more cobble anyway. So this is going to look like this. Bam. Just like that. We're going to have ourselves torches along here, which I'll put up right now to make sure that I don't die. Uh, one there. Uh, one here and one here. Just like that. So this is going to be the first floor of his house here. I think I'm going to extend it out twice as far. So I'm going to make it double the distance. Double the distance. And then underneath it is going to be the sheep area. That is the big plan. That is a big plan. You know what I'm going to do, guys? That is going to be the basic layout. Let me just show you what I want to do. And then I'm going to have to go cut a bunch more resources anyway. I'm going to extend this out to... Actually, I'm going to extend it all the way over to here is how far I want it to go. Two, three, four, I think. And this is going to go right along here like this. Same thing on this side. Extend it along here, and this is going to be our braces, obviously. Bracing our medieval home. Everything uses logs. And you know what? It's too bad, because it's kind of it's kind of crappy on, side bl on sky block. Oh my god. To use a lot of wood and that kind of stuff, it is not a very... It is not a very uh, expensive block to use, and therefore I am not getting the best I could. So the sheep are going to live underneath here, so we're going to grow all this grass, and I might add some more grass in here. We're going to see how this is going to line up. I'm going to fence this thing in. Fence is going to come out a few and then kind of curve around like this. And yeah, that's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work. There's going to be a gate here and a gate somewhere in here. Just like that. And I think this is not exactly accurate because what I want, I think I want this thing to be doubled. I want it to be... So this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I want it to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right to here is going to be the other half of his house. So he's going to have a house that's symmetrical in nature, just like this. The house is going to be symmetrical, but I'm going to throw the roof off asymmetrically. I still have 31 of these, and 32 actually. Nine, great. Okay, so this is going to be the entire floor. In fact, I think I'm going to have to stretch logs along here. I have enough, so we're going to do that. This is going to be the basic style of the home. Oh, I almost fell. Almost fell. Terrible block placement. Boom, boom, boom. Six. Choppity chop. This is going to be the basic style of the home right here. We're going to stretch logs along here. I'm going to have to go cut a bunch more logs and make a bunch. Oh my god, that's bothering me. Okay, just like that. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be the basic style of the home. Let's put Not you! Eight. Put this guy here. These are going to be pillars up, obviously. Just like that. These are going to be pillars up, and I think I'm going to make the roof symmetrical around this side here. Which will mean... Is this going to work? <laughs> this might not work. I thought it would stretch all the way down to here, but you know what? It might not work. I might have to actually build it <laughs> to see if this is going to line up. Because it might not line up at all. This might be absolutely terrible. Terrible. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go build this thing. When I come back, we're going to have ourselves a little awesome sheep farm. All right, I'll talk to you all very soon. Okay, everyone, the herdsman house is finished. This is it right here. We've got ourselves a sheep down below, and they're coming along pretty darn well. And the dude lives up right in here. We've got, let's go take a look, actually. Let's go take a look at it. Right in this area down here, as we talked about originally, is his working area. He's got all the stuff he needs down here, all his trimmings and that kind of stuff are in here. Uh, we've got our dyes and that kind of stuff in here. Quick access to the sheep right here. Uh, boop. Can I get over here? Maybe I have to get right there. Quick access to the sheep. Do I have any? I don't have any wheat to feed them, which kind of sucks. Otherwise, I'd feed them and start breeding them some more. Because my plan is to have one sheep of every single color right inside here. Anyway, guys, so that's where he keeps his sheep. He's got himself some cows and some chickens just over yonder. And let's go take a look at the inside of his house. The inside of the house is really, really simple right now. I haven't actually decorated it at all. This is his main floor, his main living area. We've got ourselves kind of like a little... I don't know what you, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like an oven or whatever uh, with our furnace and our crafting table and a little chest with absolutely nothing in it. Let's give this guy some 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 zombie meat in case he's hungry. Anyway, this is his his main floor and then up here on the second floor is going to be the bedroom not decorated yet. In fact, you know, maybe this is more than one guy's house. I don't know. There's a lot of animals out there, sheep and cows and chickens, so maybe it takes a lot more than one guy to actually uh 
actually take care of everything. So that all went pretty well. I actually like the way this thing looked. It's really coming wobble wobble. It's really coming along uh, not so bad actually. Let's go take a look at it from up top over here so you guys can get a view of my entire island. Let's just run up here. Let's just run right up here. Here we go. Here we go. I, the island level still, I don't know exactly what it's at yet, but it's not anywhere near where I would like it to be. I have to try and get to 250 in order to get to the uh, in order to get to the expert challenge, the expert uh, level building, 250. And let's see what I'm actually at. Slash is is land level. I am actually only at 176. <laughs> I have 75 more to go. So I think this thing here added maybe 20. That's it. And that's a really big place. That's a really really big place. I don't know. I'm gonna have to really consider what I'm gonna do. I know maybe maybe in this area here and a couple of these areas here, maybe I'll, I'll start adding some forests and that kind of stuff, some extra trees, extra trees around. That'll make it look more medieval, and it'll actually increase my island level too. Because there's no way I'm gonna get to 250. In fact, I have to try and get to 1,000 because I heard there's an expert level challenge called Sky Lord, and that is having an island level of 1,000. <laughs> I'm at 176. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I enjoyed bringing it to you. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you're on the AZMC server with me, then make sure you guys are posting your stuff in the in my video. I want to see your island. Post uh, post images of it. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. It really makes me happy to know you guys are out here playing with me and that you guys are enjoying yourself and doing some pretty cool stuff. So you guys take a few minutes and post your images in my videos. That would be awesome. If you didn't enjoy it, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. That's how I know if what you guys like and what you don't like on my channel. If you don't like something, you've got to let me know. I'll make changes. If you don't like it, I'll make changes. We'll do something different. I'm enjoying this, so I hope you guys are too. So thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.